Hey, what's up, YouTube? Now I'm going to show you how to host a server for Gmod. Um, it's quite easy actually if you have the right program to help you host it. Basically, you want to go and download this program with it, how much you log me in. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can download it and you don't have to go and search the whole fucking Google just to get this program. Anyway, you're going to say you're going to agree to the conditions of use and you're going to click it and you're going to click download and it's going to pop up and you're going to say save file. I already got it so basically I just have to open it we saw and you're gonna click on this it's gonna power it on and you're gonna say power on and you're gonna click it and it's gonna load a while and then type in a username once you've done that you're gonna go to network create an existing network and type in I don't know ammo for everyone I don't know make an um I can I say make a password one two three four five one two three four five create and once you've done that you're gonna want to give them the ID to your network and that's and that's gonna be ammo for everyone and then you're gonna give them the password one two three four five and then your friends are gonna go to join existing network type in the ID and the password and then they're in your network so then they're gonna be able to join your server. Basically, you're gonna have to copy your IPv4 address, and once you've done that, I'll see you in the game. So make sure they copy that address and not your IPv6 address, guys. Come on, just it's really basic. So make them copy it, and basically, then I'll see you in the game, and I'll show you what to do next, what they have to do next, actually, and you. So peace okay, out. Hey, what's back. up, guys? Now the important part is you're gonna select your map, and you're gonna say two players you can select your players who you want to I recommend two players or four players not anything above that because there will be server lag you're gonna make sure it's local host it's a local host server you're gonna type in your server name I like big big butts uh, I don't know anything you're not gonna type anything there just make per zero behind everything so you guys don't have like any spawn limits or anything Oh my good golly gracious. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. It's gonna be a zero of that, off of that, off of that, da, 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 da. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna select what you wanna do and you're gonna say start game. And as soon as you start loading you'll see what happens next. I'm gonna show you how to connect that I'm gonna show you how they have to connect. They're gonna do it's actually quite easy if you don't really know, but I think most of you already know that, so let me just show you anyway for the people who don't know how to join the server. Just waiting for the thing to load. Sorry, <laughs> not I don't have the fastest PC in the world, so come on. Uh, there we go. Okay, once you're gonna get in here, it's gonna be quite easy. They're gonna have to enable developer console. You're gonna go to your multiplayer. Oh, I don't think it's multiplayer. <laughs> It's gonna go, oh yeah, it's by your keyboard and you're gonna go enable developers console. Make sure it's enabled, guys. Say OK, apply, continue, go back to game. The thing under escape, above tab, make left side of one, press that. Then you're gonna type in connect and copy and paste the IP that you copied earlier. The IPv4 address, you're gonna put in there and you're gonna press enter. Now my game is just gonna bomb out because I just connected to my own server when I hosted. So thanks for watching guys. I tell you host the multiplayer local server for you and your friends to play over the internet. Hope you guys enjoy the video, leave a like if it helps and yeah, peace out.